started playing Wukong. Oh, whoops, wrong, wrong game. It's pretty cool, but Master Roshi looks a little different. The character design for this game is pretty fun, but I'm actually having a hard time finding a good reference. Dang, that's cool. Pinterest is better than Google Images. 16 by 16 characters are cool. Don't get me wrong, but for my, my own personal project, I chose uh, 32 by 32. I think you can just get a little bit more character, a little bit more personality there. So something I like to do is uh, when I'm drawing is just to get a background color back there. I don't really like these, uh, just like that, like checker pattern, right? So even if we do something like gray or whatever, it's better than that checker pattern for me. All right, so here we go, new layer. And then I like to start with black. So there's um, different kinds of techniques for drawing characters. And I used to do line art. And with line art, oops, with line art, you kind of, you know, do an outline for the character. Perfect. But with silhouettes, it's more about getting a uh, form and shape out there. Um, when you're doing a silhouette, a good thing would be to use um, uh, pressure sensitivity. And I actually have a Wacom tablet. So I'm going to do a mixture of both, right? You don't have to pick one or the other. So you can kind of like the, the good thing about uh, putting these lines on is you kind of get get to decide, OK, how big do I want the legs to be? How big do I want the head to be and stuff like that? However, don't get too committed. It's an iterative process. And I think the most important thing with um, uh, pixel art is that you get the face done first. And the reason why is it because you can have this little, uh, you know, chibi body and uh, people will still know who the character is because of the giant head. Whereas if you make the body huge and then you put a little head on the character, uh, there's not as much room for expression and stuff like that. So we're actually going to focus first on the head. The difficulty with uh, with Wukong's face, I, I try to use color as soon as possible. And I don't, it's not like, I, the color doesn't even matter in the very beginning. Because uh, you can go and change the color later. I'm just trying to separate elements of the design. So here we're trying to get that like monkey face going. And Wukong has, uh, has that hair, right? And we could either go for a golden look or a brown look. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to make it brown. So maybe maybe this is the small, smallest we can make Wukong's head, but uh, I think uh, I'm, oh man, I'm, uh, that's not a lot of detail. This is gonna be pretty hard. So um, oh man, <laughs> maybe I can add a little bit of uh, a little bit of white on the edges and make uh, make um, Wukong look a little bit more. Um, nah, that makes Wukong look too human. I don't I don't think uh, I think that we need to keep it keep it something like this and so you see how I added the the facial hair on Wukong's head then uh, Wukong's got that like uh, gold uh, gold crown thing on it on his on his head it swirls but you can barely tell uh, especially if the, I'm doing pixel art this tiny but something I could do is maybe add maybe add a highlight up here or even do something like this even though it doesn't fully represent the swirls of the of that crown Wukong wears, which goes something like this, if you know what I'm talking about. We can't pull that off, right? So now, so this is kind of just like filling in the the blanks. Actually, I think I might actually just I like it simplified uh, into something like that. All right, and then um, the hair is kind of big, right? But I don't I don't want to make the hair too big because we're trying to fit into a space. And so, um, so far I'm making this pretty symmetrical. I think I need to erase like this side to make it look a little bit more tilted. And then that way I can make the hair kind of go back like this direction. See what I'm doing there? And uh, I'm just getting the shape of the head right now. But I think if we go darker, we can start adding some, we can start adding some form to this. And then I'm going to go even darker for the side of the head, just because I'm trying to separate these um, these elements, like the top of the head and the side of the head. It's something that we can go back and do later. So I have more pixels to work with if I don't use an outline. As soon as you use an outline, that's going to take up space, and you're not going to you're not going to be able to do as much. So it is. I think it is beneficial to to use color. And maybe I'll add an outline at the end. We'll see if we really have room for it or if it's even necessary. And then I think we should add a highlight to the hair. And I could add a highlight here on the face and stuff, but I like to be kind of minimal with, um, with stuff like this. So the highlight is gonna go on the top of the head here, on the hair, which is also going to help, um, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of the grid. Which is also gonna help um, show the lighting, right? The lighting's coming from above. And now I think that we should show multiple strands of hair. And so I think uh, a couple highlights is uh, what we wanna do. And then maybe even separate them with um, sort of like a darker uh, shade there. Maybe something like that. Now for a piece of hair here, um, I want to, it's going to be hard. Like if I just do this, you can't tell that there's a piece of hair there. I could use this like lighter one and that doesn't look too bad, but I think what would work best is the darker one because it's acting as hair and simultaneously it's being utilized as an outline for the head. <laughs> oh, dude, I was feeling pretty bad, but this is, this is not too bad. It's, 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 we're, it's coming out a little bit. Um, it, it, this might actually work. So I think I'm going to add a, a highlight there. Um, maybe we could add a highlight to the entire front, like this. Uh, enti entire front of the head. And then for the eyes, maybe if I make this like a little bit um, lighter, it might still give it the feeling that there's like a, a shading there without it being too um, something. And then for the eyebrows, I want to separate the eyebrows from the facial hair. I could do that by making them lighter. I'm looking at the preview image here. Don't forget about your preview image. If I went for darker, then I would have to make the um, eyes lighter. But I kind of like the dark eyes, which means it's better for me to go lighter. I think with the go lighter with those those eyebrows. All right, and then Wukong's got a nose, right? But I kind of want to. I don't want the nose. I'm just gonna to be like too obvious, you know, like. You really don't want to like do that. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. But um, some sometimes with pixel art this small, you gotta choose: are you gonna do nose or are you gonna do mouth? And you, it's pretty hard to sometimes pull off both. Uh, I don't know if we will be able to. Maybe if I make the mouth, the face a little bit bigger. And uh, anyway, uh, so with the nose, I think that a light color like that might work, or even lighter. So just a tiny little shading, almost like fills in the blanks that there's a nose there. Man, I don't know if we need that nose. We could we could do um, two pixels and maybe and you know that kind of makes it look like a bigger nose. <sighs> or we could lengthen it, like make it wider. But mm, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, I'm gonna go back. I kind of I kind of like the more chibi cute look, and um, actually the color between these two is pretty drastic i think it would look good if we faded it so we're gonna go halfway there and now we have an in-between color now i maximize the opacity again and now that we have this in-between color it's a pretty nice color to um sort of help round the face and also make that transition between those two colors a little bit better and i think over here we can go even darker and the reason why i'm going even darker here is to make the head look even rounder and now we could take this dark color, put it there, and basically what I'm doing is uh, it's creating a rounder shape. The the more variation we have on the side, don't put variation in color in places if it's not doing anything, just to add noise or pretend details. Use it very um, um, what's it called intently, uh, <laughs> I think. So something I forgot that'll definitely make this look more like a monkey is if we add the ear on the side, maybe even if we add it on both sides, what if we make the ear really big? <laughs> it's a little too big. Or maybe it needs to be even bigger. Um, probably somewhere in between, right? So I think I'm just gonna go with something like, something like this. I think we can make this crown part even darker here. I'm gonna go that dark. And that makes it look like it's almost like tucking behind the ear. And then for the shape of the ear also, I could add a little bit of shading there which helps make that ear uh, look more like a, less like a square, you know? And then maybe one, maybe one uh, over there on that side. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there should be an ear on this side. It looks a little bit weird, right? Uh, probably not. This ear doesn't look like it's sticking out. It might be better to make it look like it's sticking out, just to emphasize that Wukong is a monkey. I kind of like it sticking out. Is that ear too high or are the eyes too low? Something feels a little bit off about it, right? Um, I like to use the selection tool. And then with pixel art, the selection tool is great because it already does rectangle shapes and pixels are rectangles. So now we can see there if it looks better uh, higher up or lower. 
Um, I think I like it lower, uh, but whatever. It, it, it looked pretty decent in both versions. All right, so let's see how much room we got to work with. So we got the head here, and the head is almost half the body size now. So it definitely is chibi, but I think a chibi art style is a good art style for pixel art. And I'm gonna place it um, somewhere in the middle, about like right here. And now I think we can start working on the body. I'm gonna make this a new layer. And the reason why it's good to separate these layers is because then it's easier to move the pieces around to adjust it to your liking. And for the for the for the body, I think Wukong has uh, has like um, a little bit of red and stuff. I think these colors are kind of boring, but I do like the design. I like the you know we, we want to get those baggy pants and probably some kind of tied belt on his uh, on his waist there. I think those are those are kind of cool key features and that chest showing that chest right. Those are kind of uh, characteristics that I think we want to we want to keep going. So for the chest hair. Um, I'm actually going to use brown for the whole body here. So we're going to have uh, um, a chest kind of like this. And... <laughs> and... Uh, you can't tell where the chest hair and the head start. So this might be a good spot for either using an outline, like a black outline, or a very dark, a very dark color. Oh, I should put the body layer underneath the head. But you know what, Wukong, since Wukong's a monkey, maybe it would be uh, kind of funny if instead of standing straight, Wukong was <laughs> was doing some uh, some monkey pose like that. I like the color um, red, uh, right? It feels, uh, feels fitting for this. So we want a red belt and pants. What fits well with red is blue. They're complementary colors. So I think we're either gonna make a red belt and blue pants or blue pants and a red belt. For the belt, there is either gonna be a one giant thing hanging down the middle or we're gonna have two pieces of fabric, like something like that. Um, I kinda like the two pieces, right? Cause the two pieces then will uh, kinda make it more obvious that there's a knot here somewhere in the middle. And for the knot, I think we just gotta do that with shading. Uh, a, a really simple knot thing to do is just kind of crisscross. I think we can shade the red here on the edges, maybe even here, and to emphasize that, that knot shape. And I think we can go even brighter red on this knot and just give it a few highlights. I need to desaturate that. Uh, oftentimes for fabric, if you want it to look more realistic, it's, uh, it's a good idea to desaturate it. Now, if we add a little bit of shading here into this cloth, it makes it kind of look like it's uh, bending. Even though it's perfectly straight, the color variations make it look like there's lighting variations in it, which make it look like it bends a little bit. And so, um, like I was saying, the blue is gonna be, I think, uh, uh, a good color. And look, I, 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 it's not super saturated, this blue, right? When I first used to do pixel art, I, I would do like colors like that. And that is an art style. And it's not a bad art style and I do like it and it does look fun. However, I do think that you get a little bit more realism when you um, remove saturation. Uh, I think it's a little bit more realistic and it's up to your uh, up to your preferences, right? Whatever fits your game. But um, here we go. We got that shirt on Wukong. What you, you see the way that I'm drawing is I didn't draw an outline. I'm, I'm trying to create form and then I can adjust that form. However, I'm doing the form using color which is instantly differentiating objects. And afterwards, what I do is I go in and I add shading. So for example, this chest, it's, um, it could use um, uh, like, we need like an in-between color here. So I'm gonna do a, create another new color. And so with the chest hair here, I think that we can make it look more like fur if we kind of like sprinkle a couple of pixels over there. And now it looks like fur. However, uh, I made it look a little too much like a checkered pattern. So another way to make it, to create fur is to do um, lines that go down. And what I mean by that is, let me show you real quick, is uh, something like that. You see how the, these lines are going down? They represent, they represent fur. Maybe that's not the best spot for them. I like to also put colors on uh, over to the side. So for example, I'm gonna color over this and now um, uh, with Alt, I, it, it turns into the eyedropper and I can quickly and easily grab that color. So 
I think this color is good for doing uh, hair and we could do this sort of pattern which fits however to make something to make this chest look a little bit rounder and less um, organized I would probably make this middle hair um, go uh, go a little bit lower than the ones on the side and I think that's fine and I don't and I don't actually think we even need more hairs for Wukong and now I'm gonna use this darker color to add a little bit of shading um, between that shirt and the body and what this will also do is it makes it look like the shirts not super tight on the body it makes it look a little bit more uh, loose fitting if uh, if you know what I mean all right I think we can um, do something like that something I also like to do is I like to just like add a um, a background here even though the head is covering it because if you want to do an animation like a pixel art animation or you're using a video game software you could separate these um, you could separate the pixel art into multiple layers even in the game engine and then you can move the oops wrong layer and then you can move the head around instead of redrawing the entire characters okay maybe like that whatever so i think it would look great if wukong had some shoulder armor and we could either make that shoulder armor uh red just to have like color consistency or we could try to make the shoulder armor i think um gold uh, because um, we're also reusing a color and uh, actually a mixture of the two might not be so bad so we got a shoulder pad um we got a shoulder pad here uh some <laughs> that does not look good we got a shoulder pad here i think i'm just gonna make it gold uh but i kind of want to make it look a little bit duller and the reason for that is because it's um it's not going to be as metallic or as like special it's not jewelry so um I'm, i want to make it less reflective and maybe even it took some some damage in battle so it would uh and it's maybe it's got some dirt on it and so something something like this might be kind of might work and you could i can add uh, a lighter color here to kind of give it more uh, more lighting man that looks bad oh my god um maybe i need to speed draw through this process it's, it's it sometimes it's an iterative process where you just got to try stuff it's hard to sometimes it's hard to imagine what something is gonna look like before it's done oh man i don't like that shoulder pad i think uh we we should have made it red i think we should just go red 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 was working better right and so the pole over there might look pretty good and i think it should be red and let's put that little monkey arm <laughs> over there uh yeah that looked pretty good it could bend maybe i could bend it more like uh like this nah Man, every tiny little pixel makes such a big difference. And then for the pole, I think I kind of want to make this one brighter. And it'll help differentiate it. I'm going to leave one pixel here as shading under the hand. And then it would be great if we had added maybe like yellow near the edges. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of design. And actually, I'm going to try going all the way red just to see what it looks like. Maybe on the tips have it be uh, very very red but anyway since we made the shoulder pads red then we have to make these um pads the knee pads uh, blue right but either blue or i could just extend this fabric and then i don't think wukong wears any boots and we could give wukong boots or shoes but when doing character design try to make the clothing say a lot about the character Wukong is like kind of is a monkey right kind of a wild animal and jumps around a lot and so no boots makes Wukong look a little bit less civilized and I think that fits the the character man drawing this is making me want to go play the game um a big part of doing art like this is at the end just going in and adding like the the little details and that's like a whole another technique in itself what could be in Wukong's other arm? Probably nothing. I should just make it hang down. It should just be like, like this, I think. Something like that. Uh, is that too buff for his arm? Does he have one too many pixel muscles? That is a kind of, that's kind of a buff arm. But then I, but now it's too, too thin. It's like, you gotta, <laughs> you don't have uh, too many options when, uh, when doing pixel art. Everything is so, 
So every pixel is such a big deal. But I, I think something like this looks okay. Jeez, I don't know. Maybe the erase that one. The armor, there's something off with the armor. There we go. Now it looks like it's like hanging off the edge. Um, and then is and then uh, I think we should. Um, oh man, I did that on the head. Oops. Dude, biggest pixel art noob mistake. Luckily, that was pretty easy to fix. Okay, and so I think we need to um, highlight, you know, like the top of the foot over here and over here. This is some, 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 something is a little off about the leg here. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe that looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. And then with this blue, either I'm going to use it for shading like this, which looks okay. Or we're going to create those uh, 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 leg pads. Um, maybe the leg pads could be red, but there's already red there. Oh, let's go and try that. Try yellow again. I'm going to do this on another layer because I get the feeling it's not going to look good. But let's see. Oh. Oh. Not, not bad, actually. That's not looking too bad. Maybe something like that. It was like that. It's not. Yeah, maybe. And then for this, maybe we just need a little highlight. No, that's a bad one. I'm going to do saturated for for this. I'm doing red, but I'm doing a different a different kind of red. And I'm just adding a bit of a highlight here. And um, maybe for the red, I'm going to go darker here. Uh, so basically, I'm not using outline, but what you can see is I'm creating an edge by just having uh, the contrast between these colors exist. And um, maybe something like that. You see how that kind of worked? And this part, this part is pretty hard to do, this shoulder pad. Um, ooh, that's kind of making it look like samurai armor. I think it looks uh, pretty good. I'm trying to maybe, maybe extending them. I don't want to make them too big because then it'll cover the cool baggy pants. And I could also use this color for shading. But now we hardly have any um, of that light blue, but that's okay. I kind of think maybe this whole thing should be shaded. And then I would go even darker blue here. Even darker blue to make it look a little bit rounder. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, I, you know, I, I mean, look, I say it's looking pretty good, but I'm just happy that <laughs> that it looks like that you can even tell what it is that I'm drawing because this tiny pixel density, man, it makes it, it makes it hard. And so that right there, that shading, you know, that's for this uh, shoulder plate. And I think maybe I should go even darker for that, um, for that part, maybe something like that. And then for the chest here, I don't like to use too many colors. However, I do think that, you know what, I might as well have this in between color on the chest. to just better highlight, just make it look a little bit rounder. Um, even more so and then and then this color here, you know Why not have a little bit of a lighter color here on the edges or something like that? And it just makes it look like there's a little bit more details in there like this arm is fine, but You know, maybe just add a little bit of shading on that side and then and then up here and now it just Even though it's so subtle. It just looks a little bit rounder I don't know how I should do it for this arm. For maybe, um, hmm, maybe like that. Oh, Wukong could also have like uh, something on his wrists, like that. That kind of looks cool too. And then for the for the pole, um, maybe uh, there's a bunch of different little things we could do for the pole. The pole design has a lot, a lot of possibilities. Um, maybe this middle part, I think also should be a little bit like um, brighter. And it might, it, I don't know, you know, I'm just adding a little bit of characteristics to this thing. Just to make it more interesting. So, uh, you know, th this is a great spot for, for uh, BS details, the pole. <laughs> um, let me do, let me put that. I put this red pixel here so that the shading would look a little bit better there. 
And then let me go back to the head. So um, I kind of want to make Wukong look a little bit more like a monkey. And I don't know if we can pull that off with such a tiny head, but maybe if I do this and make the chin bigger, you know, the face could be bigger. Monkey's got that, got a bigger mouth like this, like this, like that. Now it looks like it's missing a mouth. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not putting a mouth there. It's uh, it doesn't work, but a nose, a monkey nose, man. What if it's diagonal? That definitely, that <laughs> ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Ooh, ooh, wow. That kind of made it look like he, he's got a forehead, but not in a bad way because it makes the makes the mouth of the monkey kind of like stick out more. Oh my gosh, I'm accidentally doing something good. It's the beauty of pixel art. I, I, I want to make the head lighter here, but you know, instead of this dark outline, just super quick, I want to show you this. I'm probably going to undo it, but instead of that dark outline, I could continue this and now we don't need an outline because the color contrast is there. And actually that looks kind of cool. Does Wukong have a beard? Some in some some versions of Wukong, Wukong does have a beard. Um I don't know if I I mean I think I made it a little too big, but uh <laughs> I made the beard a little big. Man, it's gonna get really faded with his chest. Mm, I don't feel like fixing it now, but I think that I think that we could. I think that if I, I'm just I'm being pretty subtle about this. And actually, I'm gonna fuse the head to the body now. Um, uh, should I? Yeah, whatever. Why not? And so, ooh, for the background, just just for fun, super quick. I'm gonna make this uh, very light. Very light, but let's do um, some pixel art bamboo over here. Kind of just set the set the jungle mood. How does pixel art bamboo look? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I think lighter than this. So bamboo's got like these uh, sections, and we're basically just breaking it up into those uh, into those sections. Um, whatever something like that and then we need some leaves and i think i think the leaves we can keep it pretty simple i think we can keep it pretty simple guys maybe something like this i'm putting the leaves in the corner there because it kind of helps it look a little bit a little bit more natural a little bit smoother and near the top near the top the bamboos are like straight up trees right it's like it's like that near the tops i don't know if i uh I want to. <laughs> um, I a, a, a funner thing would probably just to be to make the bamboo um, go all the way to the top. And then a shadow makes everything look a little more 3D. Don't forget your shadows. I think the bamboo on this side. Uh, it needs to be a little bit longer. It just looks like it's so much further back. There's like, there could be like another 30 minutes to an, to an hour of polish on this, just tweaking and tweaking and tweaking to get it looking great. So I posted in the Discord community and I said, I'm making a video. This is Wukong. Make it your style, then post here and I'll show it in a video. Your talents blew my mind. I'm embarrassed. These are better than what I drew. You guys are truly amazing. I'll see you next week. A dev live. Please subscribe.